Hi, I'm James Horncastle, I'm the Guardian Football YouTube channel City Art Expert. The reviews of all of the action from Liga, the Bundesliga and La Liga on the channel today, so why not check those out? But in the meantime, let's get on with my five points from a controversial weekend in Serie A. The former Juventus president, Gian Piero Boniperti, once sent his Roma counterpart, Dino Viola, a plastic ruler in the post so he could measure how far Michel Platini was offside when he crossed the ball to Sergio Brio to score the decisive goal when Juventus and Roma met at the Olimpico in March 1983. Now, one wonders whether the current Juventus president, Andrea Agnelli, will be sending the same gift in the post to James Palotta, the Roma president, after a controversial game on Sunday. It was a game of inches at the Juventus Stadium on Sunday night. It was also a Rocky Horror show. Referee Gianluca Rocky made a series of difficult and dubious decisions. Juventus were awarded a couple of penalties on the fringes or even outside of the penalty area. Roma coach Rudy Garcia quipping after the game that the penalty area measures differently in Turin to other cities in Italy. It's 19 yards rather than 18. He had a lot to be aggrieved about, so did his players, they played well. Iturbe and Gervinho combined really well for that second goal. But Juventus also had something to be aggrieved about, and that's Rocky, who, despite giving them a couple of penalties, also denied them a transparent victory and regenerated a climate of suspicion around Juventus. The Rome papers on Monday morning certainly encouraged that climate. Il Tempo saying, everybody stop, there's been a robbery. And Corriere della Sport also saying, that the league had been falsified. I wouldn't read too much into these uh, conspiracy theories. We've moved on uh, from Calciopoli, but the Dietrologia, or the continuing to look uh, for strings of a puppet master, still go on. Sam followed up last weekend's win in the Derby della Lanterna against Genoa with another one, this time against Atalanta. They inflicted a fourth straight defeat on the Bergamaschi. Uh, Mihailovic is doing an outstanding job, Manolo Gabbiadini got his third goal in four games, Alessio Romagnoli, the defender on loan from Roma, looks more like the next Alessandro Nesta uh, by the game. Uh, Massimo Ferrero, their owner, was delirious uh, afterwards, uh, doing a hop, skip and a dance and holding a blue cerchiato handkerchief and yeah, he's got every right to because Samp are still unbeaten, they're in third place and they haven't had a record like this from the start of the season since when they last won the Scudetto in 1990-91. There's a crisis at Inter after last week's 4-1 collapse and capitulation to Cagliari at San Siro. They lost again, this time to Fiorentina. The outstanding goals scored by Kumar Babacar, Juan Cuadrado and Nena Tomovic in front of the watching Gabi Batistuta. Inter, they were without ideas, they looked confused, they were out of shape physically and tactically. A lot of questions now being asked about Walter Mazzari. This team was meant to be more in his image, his ideas were meant to be uh, more familiar to his players a year into the job, but they seem to have taken a step back. In fact, they're six points worse off than they were at this stage last season, and they're down in 10th place. Meanwhile, Inter's next opponents, Napoli, are out of their crisis. Uh, despite going behind on Sunday night um, to Torino at San Paolo after a great control of finish from Fabio Qualirella, a former player and uh, Neapolitan, Cuore Ingrato, a very ungrateful uh, player, they actually came back to win, showing great character. Another one of their own, Lorenzo Insigne, who's been whistled on occasion this season, rediscovered his form. He scored a header despite being one of the smallest players on the pitch before Callejon clinched the points with the uh, winning goal uh, to make it 2-1. Uh, Napoli have now th won three games on the spin. The only concern is that Gonzalo Higuain is still yet to get off the mark. Uh, in Serie A. So those are my talking points after this weekend in Serie A. What did you make of the events at the Juventus Stadium on Sunday night? Was it a scandal? Uh, do you think Roma deserved a point or even to win that game? Uh, remember, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking here. There are reviews of all of the action from La Liga, the Bundesliga and Ligue 1 uh, later today. So why not check those out and check back with me after the international break. Ciao for now.